Hello, Charles from American Life 365. In my previous video about the catalytic converter and exhaust system, I talked about how to find right aftermarket parts for the exhaust system. In this video, I will show you how to install a complete exhaust system. Connecting the exhaust Y pipes from the beginning, then the catalytic converter, the resonator, and finally the muffler. It is actually very simple. Anyone with basic hands-on skill can do it. Most work involves connecting the parts with bolts. Finding connectors for O2 sensor, downstream or upstream sensors, can be a bit tricky. Therefore, I only make important comments on necessary points. The rest of the video is self-explanatory. Since the exhaust systems is connected to the engine. The vibration is great, so it uses two flexible enough hangers to suspend the exhaust components. Okay, let's start working. The first step is to lift the car with a jack. Since the jack is not high enough, so I place. Some lumbers under the jack. Don't forget to add two wood stoppers for every wheel. The second step is to investigate the situation underneath of car. Then start to bolt on parts piece by piece. The first step is to install the downstream O2 sensor underneath of the front passenger seat. Lift up the carpet. You can find a hole for the downstream O2 sensor. And the connectors. Unplug the existing O2 sensor, then connect the new O2 sensor. Then insert the rubber stopper to seal the hole. Then restore the carpet. Under the car, we can see the O2 sensor. Now connect the upstream O2 sensor under the hood. The upstream O2 sensor is located at manifest of engine. Unplug the old one. And plug in, connect the new one. Now we can see the downstream O2 sensor hanging near the exhaust pipe. We start to mount the exhaust Y pipe.
injure the hanger to the holder. Then put the gasket on. Then bolts on the catalytic converter. Then put on the second gasket and connect the resonator. Then clamp the resonator with the muffler pipe using the clamps. The last step is to connect the downstream O2 sensor to catalytic converter. Connect the upstream O2 sensor to the exhaust pipe, Y pipe. After complete the installation and you have to go to the smoke test, then schedule appointment with the referee for verification. And the referee will issue a new vehicle emission label. Based on the new label, your car will pass the smoke test. That is all for this video. We have hundreds of videos in many aspects of American life. If you like our video, please subscribe our channel and share with your friends. Your great help is very much appreciated. Thank you.